Hey everybody, we're hopping back in to another game of Risk. Currently we're inside of the top 400, something like 358, I believe. So we're slowly making our way up the rating ladder. Look at this, Australia. Please, burp, pink, purple, what's your name? Don't go for it. If pink goes for Australia, can you imagine losing eight troops to pink? Oh no. Yes, <laughs> pink goes. Bring this four. Bring this four. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna Australia. Let's go, Australia for the win. <laughs> so, anyways, we're slowly going up the rating ladder. Here's what we're doing today. We're doing some classic fixed uh, auto setup. Ninety second expert AI fixed balance blitz. Oh, it's beginner to grandmaster. There's no novices. I guess that's that's good to keep in mind. Alliances are off, right? Yes. Okay. So let's get to know our players. Ramsey Seno is going for Europe. Green is Bert Jaggy, who is, uh, I guess, potentially going for Africa. So far, I think sensible enough play. Aston Harper is in the fourth position. They're going for South America. Everyone is just, it, it's so far, it's just really clearly well-defined continents. You love to see it. We're going for it, baby. We are going, no Australia, no win. And I think we're going we're going on turn one, huh? Let's give me that turn one Australia. Let's do it. Okay. I know that nobody's actually gonna bug me. I'll just keep the border guard. And let's roll the dice. Let's see if we can pull it off. <laughs> Playing with the black pieces. Bethel Peacemaker. We'll see how peaceful they are because they added into Europe. Black is a little bit, oh no, they're gonna get out. Ooh, black could be an enemy of mine. Ooh, oh no. Oh, I thought they were gonna add on to the five. If they wanted to destroy Australia, they add to the five and then smash, 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 but mm, we got black lurking. I'm not that happy about it. And in the last position, General Chad, 8668 from Canada. Let's see how they handle it. So there's, so black is kind of not close to having a continent. Red is a little bit messed up as well. Pink, I guess, is gonna go back into Europe. Maybe they get this four out of the way. There's no alliances, so that does remove a large element of diplomacy from the game. We'll see what green comes up with, because what is red up to? Uh, they're gonna hit red up here, and then they're gonna fortify back in. We got a Sammy splitter. <laughs> We've seen the splitting. Okay. We'll see if white thinks that they're safe enough to take all of this now. Ooh, but they're gonna, interesting. I thought they would have done this the other way. I know it's a small thing, but if they would have hit here and gone up, there is, I mean, North America is kind of wide open. So I'm hoping actually that that is where um, what color is this black is trying to go is to North America. Because it looks like white and green have kind of, they've decided they wanted to go over here. Black already has this five in here. So I'm not actually that scared anymore. That being said, just, I could combine these so red can start to come over and then black can start to go in. I'm intentionally not going to. I think that black's plan is actually to go here. So if I combine these two, it lets red move and then black can just easy, more easily come in. I'm gonna kind of intentionally mess with black for at least one turn. But, if, but black should give me a chance to roll into him. Okay, and, but now you're going up, right? Get out of my way. If you want my things to move, you should get out of my way. Do you not put that seven down, bro? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have a hard time taking a card on the next turn. I don't really wanna hit this because then theoretically black stack will be open to me. Just gotta be careful for, for one or two more turns here. Let's see what red does. Ah, okay, red offers a card. Okay, red is trying to get out of the way. Red is being nicer than I was to black. But red also, I think, understands black is, is trying to come through this way. Wonderful. So we're gonna get Australia, but now it's going to be a tough game 
Unless, I wish there were a novice in the game, because we need somebody to start the beef. When you have Australia, the kind of, the best thing that can happen is that the whole world is attacking. This is, this is pleasant. <laughs> Green blocks black from coming through. We'll see if the 10 just bulldozes through. Maybe that starts some beef. My two drops off. Okay. Let's see. White and green are, are being friendly so far. I'm going to knock this out of white. I don't, I hope this doesn't make white too mad, but I don't want to, I, I want to sneakily, I lose two. Yuck. Okay. I'm going to be nice and combine these for black. I don't want black to be mad at me. I'm getting rid of white's exterior now and I can justify it by saying, okay, I didn't want to open up the black stack. Maybe white gets mad. Maybe white is a very aggressive player. Go through the three. Hit the three. <laughs> Ooh, this is not bad either. Because this hits another, not really exterior of white. But white is now completely confined to this side of the board. Which is where I want them. Hopefully that, that messes somebody up. Red and green are still kind of beefing, so that's good. Day in Africa. Fight it out. Who gets the trade in first? <laughs> Red's not going anywhere. Red is doubling down. So that is beautiful. The beef between red and green is going to lead to a lot of conflict. And then I think by the time black gets to North America, I'm hoping that white... They seem like a relatively aggressive player. I'm hoping white denies green... Uh, denies black the North America bonus. You make this a four just to take a card, or you're, you're going, you're coming out. I think green do, no longer likes where they are. This is a sign that they're going to try to pivot. Let's see how they do it. I mean, maybe the seven hits, maybe, maybe you get out. You could go pop, pop, and then bring everybody to Middle East. That's how, if I wanted to run away from Africa... That's maybe how I would do it. I wouldn't want to bug purple too much, but I think it would be an understandable decision. But maybe, uh, oh, they had a bunch of, they turned in. Let's see how they, they handle this. Interesting, they make this an eight. They're fighting against black coming in, which is weird because they're also fighting a war against red at home. You can't fight a war at home and abroad at the same time. That's just, that's too many, you're messing with too many people. <laughs> okay, let's see what white comes up with. So I'm hoping that white takes North America and becomes insanely strong. And I hope that they're, they're pretty crazy aggressive. And it does kind of appear that they are, ooh. Maybe green is hoping white goes for North America. Maybe, I, this must be what white's thinking. I hold black out. I let white take North America because white will let me take South America. Could that be the thought? Not sure. Okay, I'm just gonna keep kind of getting out of the way over here. Sneakily, I'm kind of blocking the 18 from going back. I only want this 18 to go that way. <laughs> Just go that way. Ooh, I don't have a turn. I don't have a trade-in. Yes! Action, baby! <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's the kind of drama we're looking for. Now, if red goes ham on green, what is red? Red messes with purple. There were other ways to take a card. You could take one off of... I mean, the safest was this, this black one. That was the safest card. But red messes with purple. Hmm. In their mind, they might have only seen this because it was closer. Oh, I guess they did want to, they wanted to do some reconciliation into one big stack. Interesting. Well, these guys are messing around and they're about to find out. Oh! Oh! Okay. Red is dead. We need to kill red. Okay, four cards for red. 
White can't kill them. Could I, how, how would I kill them? If I had five here, that should be able to kill this seven, and then we can wipe everything else out. The alternative, black won't be able to do it. The alternative is feeding them to pink, which feels wrong. Make the kill. This should be enough. Mm. We have done it. Okay. Anybody to kill after? I can't get to green fully. Can I kill pink after? Pink for five? Am I on a spree? Pink has five cards. And then who after that? Green? <laughs> well, I'd have to kill black after that. Oh my gosh. It, it's insane. It's a tight, tight kill. It's a tight, tight kill. Oh, it's incredible, though. It's called Attacker's Advantage. And we want to aim at black, right? It's tight. Because I have this three that can hit this one, potentially. Can I kill black? <laughs> what the heck is going on? I'm going psycho. I want this to be like a nine? I'm not going to kill black. All right, I got to I got to slow my roll. Just try to get a big stack. I'm getting out of Australia. Maybe black will want to go take it. All right, we eliminate two of the players immediately. That was wild. It's a close kill on black because I could take this. I just didn't quite think I had enough to add here, make sure I could take out five and then also take out this 14. I mean, I was set up for it. I And because this stack is here, I couldn't kill green. If this stack was somewhere else, I mean, I might have had a very serious play on green, but I just couldn't do it. Now, I have five cards. Black is turning in. I don't suspect that they'll be able to kill me. Hmm... Everybody's going to see me as huge now. There's no alliances. I can't, like, just say, hey, hey, man, just go get Australia or something. I don't think green will mess with me, but they might. They might. Eh. How has green been playing? Green's been kind of passive. I haven't. This is my theory about Africa. Black is going to bot out. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Uh, see if I can grab. I got I got a lot of stuff in the way of my camera. Here, I'm offline right now. Okay. So black is a bot, and the bot breaks me. Okay. So I'm way ahead of green. I also have to get by white, and white is about to turn in. Let's see what green does. So I don't have, I think green is, he's passive. He's a passive guy. I think he's just going to like take a card. Although it's risky. Wait, are you a bot? Green is a bot. <gasps> white is the only human left. It's me versus white. Wait, I killed two people and the other two bought it out. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, and they're like, this guy's psycho, man. He's going to, he's out here killing all of us. Get me out of this lobby. It's only white left. Does white realize? They might blow a bunch of troops into this six. No, no, they're good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So white is good. They understand. They hit a three, though. That's good. They're going to try to break Australia, right? But there's too much in the way. You can't break Australia. It's too... You're going to go for North America for sure. Okay, I get my turn in. Let's, let's roll. How do we play this? <laughs> He's got a 31. Holy smokes.
He's gonna come barreling my way. How do I, how do I do this? It means literally just me versus white. I mean, we're literally just gonna attack him. He's the only human. Shoot. Come on. I'm just gonna attack him. I'm insane. I've lost my mind. I'm a psycho. Let's go. We're getting the dice we need, baby. Let's go. Wear him down. <laughs> oh, baby. Come on, man. Give me some good dice. Let's get up. Smash him. Yes. No, oh, shoot. I hope he doesn't have a turn in. If he has a turn in, he might he might attackers advantage me and win. It's me versus white though. Black, please tell me you're still a bot. Green, please tell me you're still a bot. I could have done that. I could have done a little bit more damage. What is the it's 60 no, it's 90 seconds. Cool. More stuff in the way. So I think Australia is gonna be safe, even if you take down. Australia is safe. White can't get to my Australia. I've got him in troops. I do have a turn in. This might be it, buddy. Then I'm gonna have to win against two bots. But if I'm much weaker than the bots, trying to fight against two bots might be a lot easier. Cause black, black and green, they'll balance each other out. It should be an easy win against two bots. Hit the three. Shoot, you're blocking my kill, bro. Sweet. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if, if White bought it out. He has not, though. Come at me, bro. Punk. <laughs> He's going to get a card, right? He's not going to take a card. Big mistake. Because <laughs> I'm a bulldozer that doesn't stop, my man. I don't know what to tell you, bro. We are, this is like actually one of my most insane games of all time. Like this is very clearly one of my most insane games. <laughs> this is wild. Now all we gotta do is beat up a couple bots. How hard could that be? Let's go. Bring me this guy all the way back. Still a bot, still a bot. If humans came back, I would probably still win. If black came back and was a human, they would just, they would break Australia, but that would be all they could do. They're not gonna do it. It's gonna fight the green bot. Crazy winning killing spree. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's amazing. Yes. <laughs> Make it even easier, baby. Now tell me green doesn't have a trade-in. It could be the perfect game. Can I kill? So I, I must have a trade-in, right? Okay, I got horsies. I got some horsies. Go ahead, take Asia. Every game, you know what? You gotta, every game, somebody's gotta take Asia. <laughs> so if green doesn't have a trade-in, I can kill green and then just probably, I can, I don't know if I can kill black in one turn, but green trades in. Okay, so there goes that idea. You gotta break the, break them. What, uh, what difficulty are the bots? Not that it matters, but they're expert bots. Let's go! <laughs> and when everything goes right. <laughs> Some days, you know, risk, it can be frustrating. There's a lot, of, a lot of things can happen to you in the game of risk. But some days, like literally everything just, just goes your way. <laughs> what a fun game. I love risk. All right, I'm just hitting them both kind of just a lot. Just kind of hitting everybody a lot. I'd, I'd describe that as a lot. Now they're both super weak. It's gonna be a while before anybody has a turn in here. Everybody's sitting on one or two cards. So we'll, we'll let, this, let this play out how it may. I'm probably gonna hold three continents into the next turn. 
kind of hoping the bots connect to everything. It would be really nice if one of you would, would connect this, make me a nice little line. Maybe green could hit here and then there, so I have a, a nice little line. That'd be about the last piece of this, this flawless puzzle <laughs> that could possibly go my way. Both bots down to 12 or 13 units here. Go ahead, get your three units. I mean, I'm actually, I'm a little bit speechless. <laughs> oh, my continent. I don't know what to say. Oh, a line, a straight line. <laughs> uh, hit Middle East so I have a direct path, please. <laughs> I don't have, oh, I do have, oh, no, it's not a direct path. Okay, whatever. Ugh, defend my continent. No, <laughs> let's, who cares, man? Let's go, just come on, we'll go for it. We'll go for Asia. Every ga good game, you gotta hold Asia or at least attempt to for one turn. All right, we're going in. Not sure we're gonna get away with it. You know what, South America, you can break it. <laughs> Do your worst. What was everybody, I mean, there could have been like, okay players. It's just not often that somebody goes on a tear like this. So it's possible that there was like a, an okay player in this group that just got caught up in the madness. <laughs> and it wasn't like, well, I guess it was one person slammed into another. There was just some tension and that led to, I just was the guy that was there to scoop up all the pieces and put the pieces all together. <laughs> but half of this video is gonna be me <laughs> playing the bots. Not my Asia, please, not my Asia. Ah. Darn. <laughs> Whoa, he's going for Europe. Slow down, partner. <laughs> hey, hey, take a chill pill. You're a bot. You're not supposed to. I guess that is expert bots for you. Expert bots are wild. They uh, they just keep running. Once they get go and it... give me that turn in, baby. Nothing could have gone much better than this. <laughs> if only every game was a little bit more like this. Gonna go down in uh, in the history books here as one of my all-time favorite games of Risk. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, trying to think if there's anything really meaningful I need to say <laughs> before we wrap it up. We are gonna see what everybody's rated. We're gonna see how, uh, how I've progressed, maybe to the top 300. At one point we were close. We were, we've never broken the top 100 altogether. Ooh, some okay people. We have, move the camera, intermediate, intermediate, beginner, beginner, master, yes! We sniped a strong player in a, a ridiculous lobby, man. <laughs> Give me some FFA points, bro. That brings me up. Uh, this is not moving. My FFA number, it just, it's like not moving. But this is moving. We're at 305, let's go. If you liked it, please make sure to subscribe.